Hello all, welcome to part 64 of SNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate implementing listeners at suit level by using SNG XML file. So let's get started. This session is a continuation of previous two sessions. We started here, guys. I test listener. Okay. We have created a class which implements this one of the predefined interface of testng library known as itest listener and overridden the methods of this itest listener okay but here the problem was we are unable to invoke this uh, overridden methods from this listeners class okay because there is no connection between the class having the test methods and listeners class having the methods that need to be invoked based on the events given by the uh, event events provided by the test methods okay to overcome that problem we can implement listeners at class level by adding at the rate listeners at the class level. But here the problem is for a single class, you can make a connection for a single class to the listener class methods. Okay, listener methods. Single class test methods will be connected to the listener methods only for that single class, only for the test methods which are there in the single class. This listener class methods will be invoked when the events are raised by the methods which test methods which are there in the class. Okay, but now I want to implement these listeners at project level. Uh, where multiple classes will be there. For example, if you see this project here, not only login, but also register and search are also there. For all these three classes, I want to implement the listeners. So I cannot go to each and individual class and provide the listeners annotation and do that, right? So in login.java, if you see, in the login.java, if you see, I added an annotation here. This kind of annotation, I have to keep on adding for each and every class that doesn't make sense. So what I will do here is, I'll not do anything, guys, okay? I'll just remove that annotation from the individual class and I will do that at the uh, test ng XML suit tag level. Okay, so here my listeners is there. My listeners is there, which is uh, which is implementing the ITS listener and overriding the uh, this uh, methods of this ITS listener. And these methods will be invoked when the test methods of these classes are getting executed. But to, to make that happen, there should be a connection established between this login register such class and this my listeners class. How to do that? If here multiple classes are there, so I'll delete this test and XML file for now. I'll delete this guys. I'll create it again. So I'll right click on the project and select uh, test ng and say convert to test ng. A test ng XML file will be created directly under the project. You see all the three class files that are there in this project like login, register, search, all three three files are there. Click on finish. Once the test ng XML file is created, open that. Now at a suit tag level, okay, at the suit tag level, just under the suit tag is just create listeners tags. Okay, listeners, listeners, listeners. Okay, in between the listeners, add a listener tag, listener, single listener, class hyphen, name is equal to, and provide the self closing tag here. And for class name, you provide the name of this listener. Okay, it is under the listeners package. Just give L I S C E N E R S package name dot name of the class that is my listeners okay my l i s t e n e r s okay just make sure there are no spelling mistakes so by just providing these three lines okay we are connecting all these three classes that is login search register with the my listeners class all this overridden methods in the my listeners class of the itest listener interface will be invoked automatically when you run this test ng XML file, because we provided the listener stacks at the suit tag level in the test ng XML file. Okay, now it's applied to the project, project classes. Test ng run, run, right click run as test ng XML, test, test ng suit. And you will see that for all the test methods in all these classes, this listeners methods will be invoked. Okay, let's confirm that test execution started. Login with valid credentials started. One of the test method in the login, first login test, uh, test methods are getting executed. Uh, test method got executed, got passed. Second one got failed. We we uh, we have in the previous session we intentionally failed the second test, right? You see, it's uh, invoking the appropriate uh, uh, my listener method, overridden method, and it's uh, giving this message. This proves that uh, on on test failure, okay, on test fail, okay, on test failure method is getting invoked, okay. Similarly, uh, another test method failed with timeout in the login class, okay. Another test method got skipped. You see, all these messages are coming from the my listener class methods okay and here login with uh without credentials started and it got passed 
now second test that is register i guess okay second one is here register uh, search is coming okay search test will run where is the search test okay you see started this particular test started then it got executed and it got passed second search test got started it got executed it got passed third search test got started executed passed then three tests in the search got completed in the register we have four tests uh, that register one of the tests got uh, started executed and passed started executed and passed started executed and passed started executed and passed finally complete test execution completed on 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 start on finish this is on finish this is on finish method in the my listeners okay this is how we can implement the listeners at the suit level in the test engine xml file so that instead of providing the listeners annotation for each and every class we can simply pull all these classes into test engine xml file okay and provide the uh, provide the connection to the my listeners class so that this listener class methods will be invoked automatically when the events are raised from all this group of classes that are mentioned in the test engine xml file so hope guys you understood how to implement the listeners at the suit tag level in test engine xml file so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to cover another test engine topic for you till then see you bye bye